फोर्टी सेवन पॉइंट का डिक्लाइन देखा जा रहा है मुस्तफ़ा साहब आपके पास दोबारा आना चाहूंगा जहां पर इससे पहले बैंकिंग के हवाले से हमने थोड़ी सी बातें शुरू कर दी थी आपने कहा था डिपॉजिट मोबिलाइजेशन करना करना पड़ेगा गुम फॉरवर्ड फॉर द बैंक इसमें स्प्रेड में कमी देखी जा सकती है बट कुछ एक्सपर्ट्स आ रहे थे पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू के शायद यहाँ पे जो डिपॉजिट का जो 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 सेविंग खास अकाउंट से जिसका जो पे आउट होगा वो फाइव परसेंट है उसमें भी शायद डिक्रीज देखा जा सकता है इफ ये अगर ये किया जाता है तो क्या हम देखेंगे कि बैंकिंग स्पेड्स में फिर भी कुछ ज्यादा लाइक कमी तो नहीं होगी The thing is, अभी जो बैंकिंग स्प्रेड हैं आपके स्प्रेड हो गए सेवन पॉइंट एट परसेंट के आपके नेट इंटरेस्ट मार्जिन हो गए फोर प्लस परसेंट के इफ यू कम्पेयर टू द रीजन दिज अर कॉर्ड एब नॉर्मली हाई एंड ऑब्वियसली द बैंकिंग सेक्टर हैज बेनिफिट इन द लास्ट फ्यू ईयर्स फ्रॉम द स्प्रेड नाउ गोइंग फॉरवर्ड दे हैव टू ऑप्शन आई दर दे कैन रिड्यूस दर एडवांसिस ठीक है और दे कैन स्टार्ट टू मोबिलाइज डिपॉजिट नाउ डिपॉजिट मोबिलाइजेशन की तरफ अगर हम जाते हैं आप एन एस एस के रेट्स अगर देख लें विच आर Quite high right now, between 13, 15, even 16.5 percent on some saving schemes. So basically, we'd say if the banks did not uh, raise their deposit rates, they did not raise them in line with what the market is calling for or what the state bank is calling for, then you would see a gradual shift away from uh, bank deposits towards maybe not the national saving scheme because you've already seen the government has been able to raise around 60 billion in the last few months from these NSS schemes. So obviously that is it's not a good indicator that your national savings are going towards public use. If you want to see a rapid recovery in the economy, you will have to see that the banking sector is going to have to start to devote resources back to the private sector. Private sector lending will have to come back up. Jo abhi uh, liquidity is being parked in T-bills. That I mean, even though it allows the government not to borrow from the state bank excessively, it is still we would like to see that private sector growth should uh, credit growth should start to come back in. That will be critical. अब जो कुछ पॉजिटिव है लास्ट वीक में भी कायबोर के रेट में कमी देखी गई जिसमें तकरीबन 53 बेसिस पॉइंट्स का डिक्लाइन देखा गया 12.37 परसेंट पर कायबोर के रेट्स मौजूद थे एक्सपेक्टेशन है कि मार्केट के अब तकरीबन साढ़े तीन सौ से चार सौ बेसिस पॉइंट्स के एक्सपेक्टेशन किया जा रहा है कि डिस्काउंट रेट में कमी हो सकती है गोइंग फॉरवर्ड क्या ये एक्सपेक्टेशन क्या बहुत आउटरेजेस है दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम बिकॉज काफी ये भी एक्सपेक्टेशन है कि इस दफा शायद कट ना हो इन अप्रिल शायद जून या जुलाई में हो जाए Um, Abhi January, now when you had the monetary policy statement, uh, I think market the consensus developed. Hoga tha ki the rates would be stable. So that I mean that was the first step. Ki jee, rates have peaked. Now since then you've seen ki bhai kai board is down 320 basis points. The 10 year bond is ki yield 70 percent ko break kar di thi. Ab wo saare 12 percent pe aa gayi hai. Aapke T bills mein aapne dekha cut off yields have been consistently on the downtrend in, in the new year. Basically, it's a reflection of two things. Okay, one, the interbank market is now liquid. Mm -hmm. You see, in case banks' key participation in the last couple of T-bill auctions were over 360 billion, so that is number one indication of liquidity. So, your just spread between your overnight uh, repo and call rates, it has come down from around 17% to under 1% now. So, basically, these are all reflection of the fact that the market is increasingly liquid. And why is it becoming liquid? Is because the leakages that we are seeing from dollar outflows, NFAs, which are net foreign asset levels, we talk about. You've seen a reversal of that over the last month or so. You've seen about 50 to 60 billion rupees has come in reversal. Aye, so that is a major plug that you have stopped. So now liquidity, you've seen that now the market has been maintained. Secondly, what these declining rates are basically showing us is that market expectations are that interest rate cut will happen. Now, three to four hundred basis points is Obviously, it's too early to say that. Abhi jo April mein end of March policy statement hai, you can reasonably expect that maybe between 50 to 100 basis points we may see a cut. And the most important thing that we would want, why we would say that okay, more than okay, market expectation, yeah, the secondary market yields get going, is the fact that the IMF statement recently they released a press statement praising the authorities' strong resolve to sustain prudent macroeconomic stabilization policies, mm -hmm. and in a, a very significant turnaround, jo pehle wo bahut hawkish the March policy pe, they said that. It, But if inflation and core inflation and the other indicators that we're looking at, if they continue to improve going forward, then we do see room for interest rate cuts. So that's a, a pretty basic shift that you've seen, and it will be significant. So I think we will have to keep monitoring the situation. A key to I think an interest rate cut will be state bank borrowing, government ki jo hoti hai. Um, IMF has called for basically zero net borrowing in the period January to March. So if you are, if the government is able to retire its debt from the state bank. Then you may see in case some relaxation from that front will come, and that the monetary policy will be able to start accommodating the economy. ठीक यहाँ पर एक ब्रेक भी इंक्लूड करते हैं जिसने आपने आईएमएफ के वाले से बात की तो आईएमएफ की रिपोर्ट है जिसमें कहा जा रहा है कि रिफ्लेक्ट नहीं कर रहा ग्राउंड रियलिटीज का उसके ऊपर भी जरा बात करेंगे मिस्टर बाबा पाशा साहब हमारे साथ मौजूद हैं सीनियर एसोसिएट ऑफ बीएमए कैपिटल मैनेजमेंट ब्रेक के बाद